Salutations friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something very special. So um, I've thought for the longest time if I wanted to reach out and not so much reach out but just purchase some custom make your own bespoke fragrance. Um, some websites, some houses, some indie houses, some niche houses, some um, well-known um, natural perfumers have this option and I've always been so intrigued by it. So I have purchased a few, <laughs> not all of them are ready, the first one's ready, and I'm ready to talk to you guys about this. So this will be like a little mini series on my channel. So let's get into first it. First and foremost, with absolutely every single one of these fragrances in this mini series, I purchased these. These were purchased, these were purchased full price. So in no way did any of these perfumers reach out to me and offer me this service. After I purchase, I usually kind of say, hey, I'm so excited, I'm going to be sharing this with my subscribers, and they're like, that's so cool. But money changed hands, full price, and some of these were quite expensive. So yeah. So the first one is done from atarperfumes.net and it is done by the almost, I would consider quite legendary Dominique de Brana. And I could go super long into Dominique de Brana and his amazing, just absolutely exquisite way that he creates natural perfumery um, and just how serious he takes it and his artistry. It's just absolutely ex extraordinary. And when I started getting into natural perfumery and I started like researching, he was one of the people that I was so interested in trying. And I did have a few things a while ago that I tried. I don't know where they are. Someone sent me a whole bunch of stuff and some of his stuff was in there and I was in love. So when I started researching these personal perfumes and I saw that he offered the service, I immediately was like, that is the first one. So I'm going to link the website below and I'm going to link the page below, but his service is really interesting. So it's a personal perfume that you pick the notes of and he will blend them and make it for you. So there's a lot of different options. Uh, they have animalic options. They have uh, noble ingredients, which cost more money and I'll get into that. Uh, they have different florals, uh, different resinous qualities, different woods. You can really build a fragrance based off of your favorite notes. And you do have to kind of have a little bit of an understanding of how to build a fragrance and what notes would kind of work together for this to be super completely successful. So I always recommend whenever you do these services to do a little bit of research. So his service is a natural perfume. He is highly regarded, highly skilled, a beautiful artisan. His service is not cheap. So I forget what it costs. I can't give you the exact number right now, but I'll have the breakdown below when I list it. You can go to his website and you can see the cost of the breakdown. For all seven ingredients, I believe it costs like either 220 or 250 euros for the service. But he has some noble ingredients which cost some more money such as vanilla and oud and my source sandalwood. So for the very first scent, for each scent, because I am planning on getting another from him, I wanted to make sure I chose one of those rare ingredients and really kind of play and see how he shined a spotlight on it. So you answer a few questions. There's a little bit of a questionnaire. You talk about like in what, um, what are the notes that you want to be the most predominant? What scent do you kind of feel is like the scent of your soul? And you, you know, you can give him your Skype information and he's like in contact with you if you have any questions and he creates the scent for you. Now I chose Meister Sandalwood, so I forget if it was an extra 120 euros or 150 euros, but for this bottle of fragrance, it cost me a total of 370 euros. And I forget what that translated to in um, the American currency, but it was pricey. But let me just say it was worth it. I got it a while ago. It doesn't take a long time to get it. I did get this a while ago. And so uh, you can choose the name of it, but I actually asked him to choose the name of it and he called it Rue Mysore, which I believe is the spirit or essence of Mysore Sandalwood. And Mysore Sandalwood, if you guys don't know, is a very hard, 
hard ingredient. I believe the trees are endangered or protected in India. I'm actually working on a few videos where I talk about very special ingredients. I'm doing a lot of research on it and this is one of the ingredients I'm doing it on, which is why I wanted to do this first, but I've just started the research on it. So I am not quite ready to give you guys the background of this particularly beautiful note. But it was very important for me to, for this to be a sandalwood fragrance first and foremost. So let me tell you the other notes that I chose for this scent and why. So on top of the Meiser sandalwood, there I have jasmine sambok, I have beeswax, frankincense, Turkish rose, bergamot, and tuberose. I wanted this scent to be like syrup on the skin, but something that wasn't like overtly complicated. I love white florals, like I adore white florals so much. So I wanted to make sure that that was another note that was really predominant. I wanted it to have a bright opening, but I didn't want it to be too sharp and I didn't want it to be too juicy. I wanted it to complement the notes, but not to overpower. So that's why I chose Bergamot. And I wanted a nice, just beautiful, just for kind of spiritualistic purposes and just preferences. I love frankincense, so I wanted that note to be in there as well. And I thought beeswax would be a great note to tie everything together. And so that is why I chose those notes. So this scent arrived and I was completely blown away. And just to throw out there, the 370 euros is for a 50 ml bottle. So this fragrance was something that smells different than what I expected, but in all the right ways. But the entire life has been on this fragrance and I'm wearing it now. It's just so beautiful. So what I love most about this scent and what I wanted was I wanted the sandalwood to be center stage the entire lifespan of this fragrance. From the second it hits your skin, from the last fleeting little wisps that are just dying off of your skin, as <laughs> I used skin way too much, um, a few hours later. I didn't want it to ever not smell like sandalwood. What I like is that it opens up really beautiful with a strong blast of tooth rose and jasmine, but the bergamot gives it a light freshness that helps the sandalwood peek through in the initial opening. Have the dry down, the jasmine and the tuberose becomes a little bit more honeyed thanks to the beeswax. And I think that kind of pairs beautifully with the rose and the sandalwood. And again, the sandalwood is center stage. And then you have that frankincense that works so well at the base that just kind of really helps kind of add this kind of beautiful, kind of exotic, aromatic flair to this fragrance. It's really quite stunning and it's perfect. I thought that it would be stronger with the frankincense and sweeter because of the beeswax. And as much as I would have loved that, I love and I mean adore the fact that it is not such. I like that the frankincense is more muted and the beeswax is really just tying everything together, but that the sandalwood is completely center stage and it is the most beautiful sandalwood I've ever smelled in my life. This was, I'm so happy with this scent, you guys. I've been like waiting for this fragrance and I love it so much. And I love that I am the only one that has this fragrance. So with every bottle, this is how it comes. You can choose the name of your scent, but again, I asked him to choose. I just had this mentality where I think artists should name their pieces. And so since this is his creation, I didn't feel comfortable saying name of this. It's just my mentality of things. And in the back, it says fragrance 100% natural, composed and produced in exclusivity for Kristen West by La Via del Profumo, made in Italy. So it's a beautiful presentation. It's a gorgeous cap. It's very simplistic, but the bottle has some nice, just little kind of like geometric uh, feeling to it. And this is everything I hoped it would be, so I am absolutely in love with this fragrance. Overall, the entire process was really easy. I can see somebody taking a lot of time overwhelmed with the process. But what I love is with every note that you choose, you can go to his site, you can 
read what it smells like. You can read the spiritualistic and almost the um, therapeutic uses of this scent. So you can build something really custom to you. And I think that is really awesome and very powerful and makes this specific personal perfume experience so very special. So it is on the pricey side, and let's be real, even without the sandalwood in here, it is still very expensive, but I don't think that it's not worth it. I think that this is definitely worth it to get a fragrance from somebody that's so gifted and creates such beautiful creations, something unique and special, and something that is specifically created just for you. And that's why I wanted to do this series, because a lot of people out there love the idea of a bespoke fragrance made just for them. And I thought that the series would be really great um, to share with you my experiences with going through these different services. So if you're looking for something that is just really beautiful, really powerful, extremely special and one of a kind, I would definitely like give every recommendation and just say go for it if you've been wondering if you wanted to do this and wondering if this is worth it because I've been so blown away. I've had any questions, they've answered my questions immediately. Once the um, once the fragrance was shipped, it arrived safely and quickly. Um, just generally, just customer service wise, everything was great. So I definitely recommend checking out uh, atarperfumes.net. Again, I will link it below. I will also link the place where you purchase the personal scent if you want to go. This is not in any way a sponsored video. I get absolutely nothing. It is not an affiliate link. That is not what this video is about. But I've always loved the idea of personal bespoke scents and I thought bringing my experiences to you guys would be fun. And with every single one of these videos, I have paid full price for it because I also want to support the artists who are creating these pieces as well. And you can't pay your bills with exposure. You got to pay your bills with money. So I also want to make sure that I'm supporting them monetarily as well. So that is my experience with creating my first kind of like a la carte, add to cart, bespoke personal fragrance. I have had the beautiful and amazing opportunity to work with some of the most amazing noses out there. Just some people, some women that I absolutely respect and love to create some bespoke scents. So this isn't my first time doing it. But at the same time, if you don't have the money to invest thousands of dollars to hire your favorite nose. This is a great way to get a beautiful, and I mean a beautiful scent that not everyone else is gonna smell like, that is tailored specifically to your tastes, and it's just a beautiful piece of olfactive art. So yeah, this video was on the longer side, but I knew it was gonna be that way. So in any case, guys, that is me talking about this particular service from atarperfumes.net. Again, I will have a bunch of links below to different interviews of Dominique Dabrana. Um, you can definitely check out his website, his body of work, and I most definitely recommend his service. In case, guys, if you have any experience with this perfumer or this service, I would love to know what you guys think. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!